everyone, me again, welcome back to Rexy Media X. Uh, today I'm going to be telling you about my January favourites, so all the products I've been living throughout the month of January. It's probably only about six or seven this month, so not a huge amount, um, but some nice interesting products, so keep watching if you want to find out what they are. Okay, let's jump straight into it then. I've got three lip products this month I've been going mad for. The first is one that I've spoken about before and it's my Ruby Woo lipstick from MAC. I recently got this um, from my parents because they went on holiday and felt, and felt bad because they didn't take me with them and so they should. Um, so they treated me to this um, beautiful matte cherry red colour lipstick from MAC that I've wanted for ages. I wear it all the time. You'll have probably noticed it in a couple of my videos already and yeah, it hasn't really left my lips since they bought it. It is a matte shade so it is a little bit drying so make sure you use your moisturiser and lip scrubs as well with this one. I'm not sure why I'm doing that with it um, but it's a beautiful beautiful colour and it's a classic red. Everybody should have this in their makeup bag. The second are two of the Revlon lip butters. Now I haven't tried these out before so I'm new to the Revlon lip butter crew but I know everyone raves about them and now I can see why. Um, they were two for ten pounds in boots so I picked up candy apple and juicy papaya which I'm actually wearing at the moment they're really really pretty they're very very moisturizing and they're just great for those days where you don't really want to rock a full bold lip now the candy apple is a lovely red color um, and it's again it's a nice alternative if I wanted to wear a red lip but I wasn't in the mood to wear such a strong bold lip like MAC Ruby Woo and um, Juicy Papaya is kind of like this lovely orange coral colour so so pretty I really like them love using them find myself reaching for them most mornings when I'm in a bit of a rush and I've forgotten my proper lipstick um, and I'm definitely going to be going back to get some more so if Boots have still got them on offer I think I might have to pick up two more there was a really nice kind of uh, cappuccino brown colour and there was also some nice kind of like purpley berry colours as well so I think I'm going to have to pick up some more just for emergency lipsticks and they're really cheap like I said I think they're about £7 maybe on their own but um, they're normally on offer I think Superdrug are doing them for £5 each as well so if you haven't tried these yet get on it Next is another beauty product that was in my January haul, I believe. It's the Dior Show Blackout Mascara. This is my ultimate favourite mascara of all time. I love it. It's such a thick um, material wand. I'm not, key, I'm not a massive fan of the plastic ones. And this is just perfect. It's really big and it just makes your lashes so voluptuous um, and long and it's just perfect. It's a little bit wet actually at the moment. I think it's because the mascaras I've been using have started to dry up a little bit. So I'm finding it a little bit wet to use at the moment which is probably an odd thing to say. Um, but I, I just love it. It's the best mascara I've ever used. And I think it's only about £19. I thought I had it in my head that it was about £25 but I think it's only about £19 which yes is quite high end but you use it every day and it's so worth it. The last beauty product I've got is um, something that just missed out on my January haul video I think and it's the Jolique Rose Silk Finishing Powder. I have raved about this in a blog post on my blog obviously um, because it's so good. Now I filmed a video with Babyliss um, before Christmas which should be airing sometime soon, scary. Um, and the makeup artist that I had, Makeup Tart, she used this powder on my face and it was like she photoshopped my face. I couldn't believe it. I haven't got the best skin in the world and she literally just dusted it on and it was like using the eraser tool from Photoshop in real life. It was just incredible. So I knew I had to buy it. Thought it was going to be really expensive with it being Jolique but it's actually only £25. I got mine from Marks and Spencers I think um, and I've used it every single day. It's incredible. It just fills in all your pores. It just... it. Honestly, it's like Photoshop in a little tub. It's so good. Um, so I would 100% recommend this to anybody to try. It's amazing and I've been loving this all the way through the month so it had to go in my favourites video. Next is a candle. I know you guys like it when I talk about candles. Um, but this is a Jo Malone candle. Oh my goodness. From their new Just Like Sunday range. And I've got the um, flavour. I always want to say flavour but the scent Incense and Embers. And oh my goodness, this candle is so good. It's it's meant to be incense and embers, so from a fire, and that is exactly what it smells like, which is a good job really, I guess, because they're quite expensive. But it's just, oh, it's stunning. And when you light it instantly, it just fills up the whole room. And I've got a real fire in my living room 
which I absolutely love. So smelling this just reminds me of being a kid and sitting in front of the fire and colouring in and doing all silly things that children do. But it's, oh, it's such a warming, wintry smell and it's it's just wonderful. Now these candles are quite expensive, like I said, um, but I would not hesitate to buy another one of these because it's going to last you a while. You can tell it, it's going to last a while. And the smell and the aroma that they give off just it's like no other candle it's just so wonderful so yeah i have been loving this and burning it loads recently partly because my room is absolutely freezing as well so having this burning makes it smell like it should be a bit warmer if that makes any sense and the fact that i can huddle around the tiny little flame and try and warm my bones and last but not least is a fashion item that I was sent from a company called Tick Watches. It's something I've had my eye on for ages and it's the Daniel Wellington Cardiff watch. These are beautiful. If you haven't seen Daniel Wellington watches you need to get on it. They are the most beautiful watches you will ever see. Sodger Michael Kors rose gold watches. I was actually going to buy one of those for Christmas. I got vouchers, I got money, I got it all ready to go and I put it on my wrist and I was a bit like... I don't like it and I was so gutted because I'd seen loads of bloggers wearing it and I thought I really have to have this Michael Kors watch, put it on my wrist and I was like oh I've waited so long for this watch, I finally tried it on and I don't like it. And then I spotted the Daniel Wellington watches and I actually spotted it on the wrist of um, from Gem With Love when I was filming at Babyliss and she was wearing one of these, hers is the Bristol watch I think and I just spotted it and I was like that is a beautiful watch. It's such a stunning watch. It's so simple. It's um, it's got the Cardiff has got like a distressed brown and tan watch with a rose gold face, well, a rose gold like rimmed face, um, and it's literally just the plainest watch you will ever see. But it's stunning. It looks so pretty on your arm. I'm gonna do a full blog post on this with loads of close-up pictures so you can really see the watch in all its glory. But this has not left my wrist since I um, since I got it through the drawer. The only reason why I'm wearing my other little watch here, which is from uh, Geneva, I think, is because I wanted to show you this watch here. Um, I love it. I absolutely love it. And I've got a problem now because I feel like I need to collect them all. Like a, a fashion designer watch Pokemon affair. Um, but I love it. Really love it had to go in my favourites videos. You'll probably be seeing this in pretty much all my videos ever. So that's it guys, my favourite items for the month of January. As always, don't forget to give this video a giant thumbs up if you enjoyed watching it and subscribe to my channel if you are new. And leave me a comment below, let me know if you've tried any of these products in this video and what you think of them and also what is your favourite product for the month of January. But thank you so much for watching and I will see you again soon. Bye! It's half past nine on Saturday morning and I'm out and about and for those of you who don't know I volunteer at the RSPCA at the weekends so I am with this lovely guy. This is Lurch, the Lurcher. Lurch, say hello to the internet. He's not bothered, he's just uh, excited to be outside. Um, so we're just going for a little walk. I'm looking after Lurch this morning um, and then we're going to head up to the boyfriend's house. Last night was so much fun. Um, I didn't expect to have as much fun as I did but I was really nervous um, for my friend who won, um, it was really exciting, but I was just, I couldn't watch half of it, because I was just so nervous that he was going to get his head hit off his shoulders, because the guy he was fighting was really good. The guy he was fighting um, had fought 17 times in the ABA, whereas uh, my friend had only fought once, it was his first fight, so it's amazing that he actually won, but he did so, so well. Um, but we all had a really good time, and it was great. But now I'm up quite early in the morning, um, it's pretty cold, I'm wrapped up nice and warm, um, but yeah I'm going to grab a coffee after this I think and then head off to the boyfriend's. So dad went for a Paco Rabanne fragrance called Invictus and it's a quite a snazzy little box here. Um, it's kind of like a grey with the angel wings on if you kind of if you can't remember what it's called and you're just looking for it on the website or in the shop um, and it's an eau de toilette natural spray and look at the bottle it's like a little mini world cup which is very relevant because that is also this year i've heard it's adorable i actually would love to have that on my shelf if i was a boy just look how cute that is so here we've got the 50 ml bottle which is a fairly decent size um and q handy ipad um this 50 ml bottle is only 32 pounds 95 so for 30 quid effectively you get him a really nice present so let's see what it smells like it's an exciting and modern fragrance 
a new level of freshness is achieved by the invigorating mix 